Hi, this is Pradeep. Hope you are doing good. I am also good. Today, I'm going to explain one real-time ticket, which was shared by one of our students, and it was asked in Accenture as one of uh, interview question. So I thought I will share with you so that will help you. It, this question is related to one customer invoice, but particularly this issue is related to some taxation. Okay, and uh, let's go into the PPT and let's understand what is that that question and what is the issue here. Just go through this PPT once. So here uh, one as usual the message number related to that particular error and here the question is In the chart of account to be posted no accounts are defined for the tax code It seems like the user is trying to post one customer invoice maybe directly But as we know that uh, directly uh, customer invoice are not posted. It is always initiated from billing document that means in sales invoice so it seems like accounting determination point of view everything is fine from the fi sd integration that means your pricing procedure is perfectly there there is no issue maybe this question this issue related to tax uh, as for my understanding as for my understanding what could be the reason why this uh, error is there uh, for if it is a it is in the production system maybe some technical issue is there but if we will try to let's say if it is a new implementation because this is what the scenario they gave that it is a new implementation and everything was configured in the system in development system but in quality when it was tested that the tax information is not showing so that means in invoice the tax part is not showing okay so what could be the region here uh, might be here I'm expecting that tax GL account was configured and uh, it was specified tax types are also it is posted but system is not unable to identify the automatic posting okay so in this case what would be the solution or what we need to do that means if we are assuming that no not at all tax account is created that means when you are going to have one sales invoice so tax code should be there and for that we need to have the tax account so tax account they are saying that tax account created one reason like maybe you can say that tax account itself it's not created so that is why although in pricing procedure the tax condition type is there but tax amount is not flowing but they said that no tax account was created but in tax invoice it is not showing in billing document the tax information is showing but in accounts it is not showing so something definitely related to finance some issue is there so as we transport the tax code between from one system to another system so as we know that each and everything would be configured in the product or development system and from development we are going to transport to quality so when in the transport uh, when this transportation was done that tank tax account i'm guessing the tax account was not transported as business is saying that or the interviewer is saying that tax account created so i'm assuming that the tr some issue is there in the tr that means in tax system uh, sorry in quality system the transport request was not transported so that is that's why we can say that in our quality system the configuration is not there the gl account or the tax account is not there that means when you are defining your development you are doing all the development in your development system all your configuration in development system and this is our quality system so it should be transported so either it is not not at all configured so scenario number one it's not configured here in development but business is saying they have configured it it is there and tax account is exist here maybe in quality system it is not there then definitely the issue is related to transport then what would be the solution so why we identified that the tax codes related settings or the particular gl account mapping it is not available here in this quality system so here for the testing purpose we are going to do this one in source or in the target system so they are very confident that it is in development system it is there so only in the quality it is not there so that we are going to adjust here so what would be the your approach so first thing is we identify what is the problem the problem in quality system we don't have the tax account or tax related configurations are not there so that related to that we have to configure so always when you will get any interview questions particularly in the real time when you are not prepared because for theory questions you are already prepared you know that uh, what to answer but this real-time questions when you will get first thing is be calm no need to panic try to understand the situation try to understand the business process what exactly interviewer is asking or what the because definitely they will always add to or they will add one scenario in front of you and obviously in a very less time you have to analyze that scenario always the problem with the uh, sorry always the solution within the problem only so if you 
analyze in detail what is the problem then you will identify so as i ex uh, explained the prob solution itself in the problem that means the interviewer is saying that the tax code is not working that means some settings related to tax it is not there so either it is not fully configured or if it is configured then in the quality system it is not there so now i'm going to uh, check into sap system whether it is there or not again you know this configuration so you are going to check i'm just going uh, quickly going through that let's go into sap screen and let's find <coughs> find out the problem here so img okay so here we are going to check the configuration related to the tax code so tax code configuration point of view as we know that tax code configuration is part of our finance so there you are going to check so you are going to check here in your fi system and in fi particularly under your global settings so we are going to check in the global settings so check here financial accounting then under your global settings tax on sale purchase so under tax on sale purchase issue is related to posting so directly we will check in the posting so go to the posting here you can see define tax account so we will check that you need to check again your pricing procedure so in pricing procedure what the transaction key they are using okay so i'm not going to show here the pricing procedure you will get it from sd in this system i created one pricing procedure in my sd point of view so here we are going to check that particular pricing procedure point of view that we are going to check here so let's check that so we need to find out my you can see here transaction so in pricing procedure we have to see what is the transaction we are using here i know what is the transaction i am using here so under my pricing procedure i am using mws so we need to check whether your posting keys are reflecting here or not so i can see against my transaction key which is my mws okay so this one is coming from sd pricing procedure in sd pricing procedure so you need to ask your sd consultant or in, uh, in interview when you will say that we need to check with our sd cons consultant whatever the pricing procedure they have created and in that pricing procedure what the transaction key they have used so in this example the transaction key i'm using mws and with mws the debit and credit posting keys are perfectly it is there so first step is verified it is there if it is there the next step is we are going to check whether the <coughs> rules is there or not let's verify that too so under this rules next we will verify our chart of account is assigned or not so my chart of account here it is z001 z002 sorry z002 so that i also i verified g0012 my chart of account is g012 which is this one so g012 is also there i can see it it is there so this one is also perfect so first i verified my posting is there second one is rules is there okay in where we are checking in quality system we are checking because there only we are trying to post the billing document and we are not getting next we are going to check whether our account is there or not so we found that this account is missing here now next under this chart of account we are going to check our gl account is there or not so this is the problem here so in this when we it was transported or when the configuration was transported it is not yet transported or maybe some system glitch or maybe it is not perfectly there so some something wrong here okay and we verified that it is not there now you need to configure this gl account and we know that this gl account should be created under fs00 or obviously in production system we are not going to create it need to be uploaded so they are also uploading done there is also no problem only problem in this screen so in this screen this gl account is missing which need to be added here so once you will add it then it will start working so answer to this question this is the screen okay to confirm it if we will check one billing document and we will see after that when you will try to post it definitely it should work let's confirm it i'm going to show you one billing document and uh, let me show you that in fury uh, i'm going to show you two invoice one with tax and without another one without tax or you can just uh, compare like uh, once we got the error and after that we resolve it then what will be the final outcome so i this is my fury and uh, here i am going to search my billing document <clears throat> i don't remember actually billing document so let's search it sold to party 6 
okay so here you can see two items are there or two invoice are there so the invoice date the billing date this one this one first i'm going to show you here the tax component will not reflect and here like we resolve it and the tax component is ready. so this is before issue and this is after issue let's check it <clears throat> so here if we will check the accounting document so this is my billing document so with reference to billing document we got the accounting document and this is my accounting document if we will check this document here you can see customer account receivable debit revenue credit sales reduction is there so what is missing here tax so tax component is not showing so then we resolve so i already uh, explained you how to resolve the issue now go back and we will check it the other billing document this one okay so this is the flow if you want to see the process flow that means first i created the sales order this is my sales order then i proceed with outbound delivery of course with reference to this outbound delivery then we got here the billing document and uh, this is collection done so that's why it's showing it's uh, uh, collection no no it's not it cleared so it is the billing document so if i will this is my process flow first order processing then delivery then invoice then accounting document now if we will check the accounting document then tax component should be there but before that i want to see the pricing procedure because sd our sd consultant was very sure that that tax configuration is there so if tax configuration is there then it should be reflect in the billing document so if we we'll go to our uh, <clears throat> conditions in the conditions just check whether the tax condition type was reflecting or not yes he is right so tax is configured in our sd so this is my pricing procedure output okay so this one is there so if it is there then definitely it should be there in our accounting document now let's check it so accounting document we will verify whether our tax line items exist or not so if we we'll go to the accounting data so the last accounting document we have seen there was no tax code or tax component was not there here it should be there is it there yes the last line line 4 so you can see this tax amount is showing 79.20 so this is the solution so if you'll get in this type of interview questions then first you need to analyze what the interviewer is looking here they are not asking like how to configure end to end tax procedure tax code related setting they are asking that in this particular error in our testing one testing is failed so what should be your approach and where you are going to do this so always analyze the error and accordingly you can frame your questions frame uh, sorry frame your solutions and you can I hope you got some idea from this type of uh, real-time tickets. Hope you like it. Thank you.